Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well yesterday we created these little text to product image on hover that link to a product image. Today we're going to create this little icon to sort of text drop down. Handy little thing to have. Let's just roll that up a bit so you can see it better. There we go. Of course, I'm using the fantastic Divi theme today. Divi theme keeps getting better and better with more and more features, and it just keeps getting easier and easier to use. If you want to take it for a test run, you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. OK, so let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder so we can build on the front end. OK, let's roll down where we want to work. I guess I'll go next door to this one. I'm going to add a little blurb module purely because it gives us that, that uh, option to have a little icon at the top there. And as you can see by default, it puts in a placeholder image and a bit of text. OK, you can put in whatever title you want. And obviously any text you want. If you want to add a call to action at the bottom, you can simply let's get rid of a bit of this text. Let's add a little sort of call to action. And we'll say or whatever it is you want to say, obviously. And as you can see, that's put it that in right there. Okay, next thing I want to do is I want to don't want to use an image. Obviously, use an image if you want to. I want to use a little icon. So we go to image and icon, flip the little switch to use the icon, and it comes with all these elegant themes, icons bundled with the actual Divi theme itself. I'm going to use a little question mark. As you can see, it's put it in. With the default color I've set for my theme, but we'll change the color of this in a moment. So let's get this little blurb looking like we want it. Let's go over to our design. First thing I want to do is center align the text. So I'm going to text. I'm going to centrally align that. I don't think I want any text shadow or anything like that at the moment. Then I'm going to give it a little bit of breathing room all around, a bit of spacing. So I'm going to hit the spacing. And I'm going to give it, say, 30 pixels all around. Just put 30 in there. It'll put the pixels in for you. Hit the chain. Same with this other one. OK, so we've got the basic structure of our site here. Now, if you want to add a link that when they click on your module, if we go back to our content page here, you can simply put whatever link in to the module link right here. And it's got dynamic content built in so you can link to pages or posts or products whatever you want to I really don't need to link to anything on this at the moment but if you do that's where you put it okay what I want to do is give it a colored background when it drops down when it's when it can be seen so that's going to be in the hover state so if we go down to background just below we're on the content tab still Let's find a color for the background. Really doesn't matter. I guess I'll use a green and we can use green for the icon color as well in a moment. And I'm going to take the opacity down so it's more of a sort of pastel color. It's there, but there we are. Fantastic. OK, now let's go over to our design tab and change the color of our icon, image and icon. And again, you just go down and choose any old color you like. That will work for me. Now it's OK, but if we go back to our content tab, that background color, I actually only want it to be that color when it's being hovered on, not when it's not. So if we go to where it says background right here, hover over it, hit the little arrow, it will give the option for desktop. So for desktop, I'm going to leave it as white and then hover, which I'll put that green color back in there. Let 
and I just brought that opacity down a little bit there we go so you can see the icon and you can see the text fine so let's give it some rounded corners and then we'll make the magic happen let's go to our design tab and to border I'll give it 20 pixels all around again just put 20 in it'll put pixels for you if that chain is linked like it is at the moment it'll do all four at once and as you can see that's giving it some rounded corners there okay now then let's make the magic happen to do that we're going to use the height so if we go to sizing we're on the design tab we're in sizing we're going to go down going to go down to height and again we want two different heights we want one for the hover state and one for the desktop state desktop state basically means when your mouse is not on top of it and hover funnily enough means when your mouse is hovering over it so on the desktop on non hover state I want to take this down so we can just see the icon there we go somewhere like that fine adjust it if you need to with your arrows here I think that's going to work fine and now when we hover over it I want it to reveal the, the whole of the text so let's bring this up till we can see everything that we want to see there somewhere around there that's going to work for me obviously if you've got more content you're going to need to adjust it more just make it how you'd like it okay so we're almost there now now to make this actually work sort of smoothly it's going to work but it's going to be pretty quick i want to slow the whole thing down the transition down so let's go over to our advanced tab and we'll go down to transitions and the actual transition duration i'm going to take up to about a second and a quarter second and a half that's pretty slow but it should look quite good i don't know we'll say 1400 that may be too much let's save this and see what we've got we can always come back and adjust it if it's not right save the page changes and go up and exit the visual builder go down to where we were and let's see what we've got so there's our little question mark icon over there there we go and when we hover over it it takes about a second and a quarter second and a half to reveal the text and change that background color so there you have it there's a little icon to text drop down on hover and as I say you can add a link if you want to but just by linking the module to wherever you want to take your customers in this case it would probably be an FAQ page or something like that so very easy to do. Like I say, TV just keeps getting better and better. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, share, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free courses down there, as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.